Hello, my name's Roger Watson. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Nurse Education and Practice, and that's published by Elsevier. To check that, you know, what specific details you need to include for some different kinds of reviews, and also, it's worth checking uh, the checklist. I have a checklist here in front of me. It's a 27-item checklist, and it's really a way of laying out your report of your systematic review or meta-analysis. And it really includes the headings and subheadings that you'd expect to see almost in any publication. And publications that follow Prisma will require that you report uh, your uh, study in the way that's required here. So it starts with a title uh, and tells you uh, what the title should be. Uh, it goes on to the abstract and an introduction and it tells you, uh, also directs you to other checklists, for example, to make sure that you know what should be included uh, in, in the abstract. Uh, the methods section should include uh, the search strategy, strategy, the selection process for papers and any means by which you assess bias in the papers and, and, and so forth. Again, I'm not going to go through all 27 items uh, and, and, and address them here. It's up to you to ensure that you check that checklist and you complete it as much as you possibly can. Clearly, if you do a systematic review that isn't a meta-analysis, you'll be unable to address the aspects of it that refer to a meta-analysis, but you've got to uh, indicate that uh, what you've done and what you haven't done as well. So there's provision there for ticking off what you've done and indicating the page in your submitted manuscript where you can find that. There's also provision in here for registering the protocol of a review. Now, this is not something that is considered uh, necessarily compulsory by journals at the moment. However, there is a system called Prospero uh, run by the uh, UK NIHR. It's now used internationally where you can uh, register clinical reviews. And of course, if you are doing something like a Cochrane review, especially one under their auspices and funded by them, the protocol will have to be registered with the Cochrane database. But there are an increasing number of places these days where you can register your protocols. And uh, as, a, as an editor uh, and as somebody who believes in open science, I would strongly encourage you to consider registering your protocol for a systematic review and finding an appropriate place uh, where, you can, where you can do that. So uh, just to finish off, uh, as, as, a, as an editor, I would um, emphasize that if you are writing up a systematic review or a meta-analysis that you must use, must refer to and report using the PRISMA guidance. When you submit your manuscript, make sure that you submit the flow diagram and the checklist. Uh, so don't forget to include them when you submit them, uh, when you submit your manuscript to the journal. It may prevent you or certainly will hold up uh, getting, getting published. So that's a very brief overview of the PRISMA guidelines, which is one of the major reporting guidelines in medical research. There are many of these now. You can find information on all of these at the Equator website. I hope you found that useful. Thank you very much for listening.